Team USA's long track speed skaters will be wearing some of the most high-tech racing apparel the Olympics have ever seen. Lockheed Martin teamed up with Under Armour to design the Mach 39 racing suit. One of the simplest things you can do to, to make your apparel faster is make sure it fits perfectly. To get that perfect fit, Under Armour scientists visited the athletes at the training facility in Salt Lake City where they used 3D imaging technology. It takes basically what's called a point cloud. So the light bounces off every surface point on your body and it allows you to make a 3D representation in the computer of your body shape. Cool. Then, motion capture technology helped them study the skaters' different body positions during a race. And then Lockheed created a computational fluid dynamics model of the skaters and the flow of the air around them to really inform first and foremost, what do we need to test? They used the images to create fiberglass models of the skaters. From there, it was on to the Lockheed Martin wind tunnels. Speed skating or uh, other, other sports like that where the athlete is moving a lot, different parts of the body are facing the wind uh, at different directions at different times. And so you have to take all those things to, into account. A lot of times you use a number of different materials and different material characteristics depending on where they are on the body. Sometimes we're trying to block the air and create zero permeability. And then sometimes we want to actually let the air into the suit. After testing hundreds of fabrics and different placements of material, the final design features strategically placed polyurethane strips and dots on the forearms, legs, and forehead. We took flow molded little bits that come out in a liquid form onto the suit and then harden onto the suit, and they deflect the air in just the right way because there's some places where we want the air to slip around the body effortlessly, but there's some places we actually want to disrupt the air a little bit. On the inside of the thighs, patches of Armor Glide reduce friction by 65 percent. Will the two-year project pay off in gold? We'll see if it's on the fastest skater in the world. I mean, it's, you know, you still got to have the engine. At the end of the day, you know, it's still the, it's still the human athlete that is powering all this equipment. Um, so they, they have to work in conjunction and work together. Danielle Elliott, CBS News.